All right, we are back. We are back. We are back, everybody. Oh man, interesting episode called Small Folk House of the Dragon season two, episode six. We have two more episodes left. I don't know. I, your, your prediction last week, uh, Scott, I don't know, man. I think they're gonna stretch this up for five seasons, dog. The way this. <laughs> But like, they, I mean, it felt like we didn't get nowhere for real. I mean, we got places, but we didn't get nowhere. I felt like <laughs> as I was watching, I was like, hey, man, Scott said this is supposed to be <laughs> getting the rap soon. Listen, listen, I'm I'm over this da- Damon the Hair Hall joint. <laughs> like, I'm sick of it. Like, it's dragging out too much. <laughs> like, hey, David's my guy, and I'll put. <laughs> He's been way too much time in Harrow. I'm just, I'm like, man, good grief! And then, and then all the the weird flashbacks, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, come on, let's let's get, let's get to it. What about for you, Bethany? Are you feeling like this is five seasons now as well? <laughs> I am, but I feel like they covered a lot of ground. Um, they, uh, I feel like Darren uh, Damon's uh, side quest to Heron Hall is complete with the appearance of Darius and him saying he was sorry. Felt like he should have been there. He actually spoke those words verbally. That I should have been here uh, for the for the uh, when your son passed and your wife passed, and um, you know, the fact that they really do have a love for each other did have a love for each other. Like that was the closure that he needed, so he can go ahead and get back to great Rhaenyra, right? And and, and start uh, and put the murder cloak back on. Yeah, we got we got far, but I feel like I I, I for Scott I, I thought was, when Scott was like, man, we're gonna be up out of here in four seasons, three, two more seasons. I was like, I don't know, we ain't even got all the dragon. <laughs> we almost in episode eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I guess I agree with that, but I'm just saying, like, life's about to life's about to start coming at them fast. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they yeah. gonna really drag. I don't know how they're really gonna drag it out, you know what I'm saying, to three more seasons. I mean, yeah. well, the reason is I think I, I in my mind, I think they'll drag it out to five seasons. I was thinking season three is the main battle stuff, four is the rec room of all that, and five is basically your Creek and Stark season. Mm. Yeah. I can't wait for Creek and Stark. No, I'm not trying to spoil it, but y'all know what I mean when I'm saying like three to main stuff, four. All the the requiem of what's going on after season three, and then five is your Creek and Stark season. I but, I, but that, this that, this is what makes me this is what makes me disagree because okay they introduced that actor that played Cregan way too early. They introduced him in episode one of this season. So just from a practicality perspective, there's no guarantee that actor's going to be available three seasons from now. You know what I'm saying? They, they're not even rolling well, out. They have to because just J- uh, J- uh, Jace went off to be with that. They missed that all part of that storyline where they was kicking it. They was like they was like boys. Like he was out there for like like damn near half a year. They kicking it, drinking. He messing with women out there. Like and he, he likes, you know what I'm saying? Like he kind of glossed over that. He, 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 was, he was trying to hook up with Cregan's sister, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, I thought I, I, I'm not going crazy. I thought that's what happened. Okay. We have, yeah, me and B were talking about this off uh, off camera earlier this week, uh, and I was like, we could remember whether or not that, that was I was just making that up. Or, yeah, it's his bastard sister, right? It's not his full sister. It's his bastard sister, right? Something like that. Yeah, half sister, bastard sister, something like that. Yeah. But what, Bethany? You yeah, say something. I, I can say. I think. I think it's just kind of going to yada 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 over those those story elements i can't imagine them introducing a character that's going to play that's going to be in the show two or three seasons from now i personally think we're going to probably see creaking again before the season is over that's what i think i don't know there's so much there's so much ground to cover there's so some things yeah so ain't no telling. And, and 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 they have taken liberties where they wanted to um in ways that that move the story along um, in ways that make sense for the casual viewer, right? But uh, we, I know that, and you guys know that there's so much more ground to cover in however many seasons they have left. One season, two seasons, three seasons. There's enough content here for us to go on a full eight seasons, really. Uh, those per season. 
Yeah, yeah I was just like, like, oh, I think we, they, they, they killed a couple story points by spending so much time with Damon and Heron Hall. Kind of gave me the kind of gave me that, the, the acolyte vibes, you know. <laughs> like we, we we got a lot of time, fellas. We, we gotta get through the story. We're still with Damon Heron <laughs> Hall. So let's dive in. Well, I mean, Heron Hall, Damon. Well, we, since we talk about Heron Hall, we let's talk about that for a second here. He's still there. He's been there with four episodes now. About. Yeah, four episodes. <laughs> just yeah. walking around his flip flops and his robe. You know, just not, not uh, yeah, I mean, so he's there. He's um, still getting high off of whatever they're feeding him, giving him a drink. Ayahuasca. He's on ayahuasca. There, I'm assuming. Uh, um, they're at uh, here at all <laughs> having emotional things with his brother and going back uh, to when his wife died. And he's like, "You supposed to be here," and he was like. I know I, I was supposed to be there, but I'm Damon. That's the way. That's how I kind of took it. Like you know, you know, I wasn't gonna be here. Yeah. Char what, what does it say? Charge it to my mind, not to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> right. And and it's it's a real good it's a real good um, uh, difference from season one, where Damon said, "Ever sent me away? You only sent me to the veil, to the step stones. Um, you, I would have." only tried to protect you. You were my brother. But for Viserys, it was a matter of duty, right? Uh, Damon's the second son and, uh, and also a very fierce warrior in his own right. So yes, he absolutely sent it in Viserys's mind. He sent Damon to do the important things that matter to the realm. But Damon viewed it as him only sending him away. He never asked me to be your man, right? I, I would have protected you. So I feel like it's it's a um, the, the two brothers, uh, Viserys, uh, from beyond the grave, and Damon just accepting the fact in the here and now that even though they had a difference of opinion, they really still did love each other, whereas Aegon and Aemon have a very different relationship, right? There's no love lost there. They they don't kind of love each other. They really despise each other. Aegon only ever um, aggravated Aemon in public and private, you know, belittled him. Um, so now that Damon's in charge, he's you know kind of being an asshole. He's kind of thick about it. so a, a really good uh, contrast of how the, the brotherly dynamic works out. I will say though, to be oh, fair to Aegon, to be fair to Aegon, nothing he did rose to the level of trying to have a dragon burn you to death to eat you. <laughs> like, no. he like, like none of his injustices was that. You know, like he. Like, Amen has really over. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Amen has really overcorrected for whatever perceived slight he's gotten, um, or, or feels like you know he's he, the injustice that was against him. It's like, man, like that was a that was a hell of an overreaction. <laughs> Great. Like you trying to burn me? You trying to like burn yeah. me up? You trying to take right. me out? And then, and then, and I'm, I'm burning crispy on the ground. You mad hurt that I, I'm not dead. Like you mad disappointed that I'm not dead. And a still carrying around his sword and his dagger. He's carrying around all the vestments of the king, the king, right? Even though so he's holding black. Like he has black fire. He has black fire, and he's yeah. got the yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Detail. It's the small attention to detail that I ain't got your cutlass and your rings on. <laughs> Running around. And he and and you know, if he had a bitch, he'd have took his bitch too. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look. <laughs> you know, he kind of like he kind of like Cameron character on paid in full. Like, man, you'll be aight, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> people, get, people get burned every day, B. Right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, he did treat him like that. Like, and he can we, we might as well even talk about it now. So we hear like when he came, he's like, he's like, how is he doing? Oh, he woke, oh, he woke up. Like, like hey, he do? got there before the maester got back that went to tell him the news. And the maester was like, dude, how you I just told you how you here already. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was like, Oh, what happy news? Oh, okay, whoop de do, my brother. He wanted to, just, to kind of check on what you remember, you know. Nothing. Like, nothing. I don't remember anything. Savage work out there. And he put that ball on him, like, "Hey, man, what you remember?" Man, I don't remember nothing. 
You sure? You don't right. remember nothing? I did not remember nothing either. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's crazy because um, while Agen was kind of a blundering idiot, right? He was never cruel in his intent. Um, Amon is so nefarious. You know, I think Scott said it last week. He was like, you know, the council really do not want to cross Amon. <clears throat> pardon me. But, you know, with, with Agen, he was you know, I'm a frat boy, right? The frat bros. <clears throat> he's, he's a little bit of a dummy, but he's cruel in his intent. But Eamon is cruel in his intent. And when I said, I think he always wanted to rule, you know, as, as a wartime consigliere or in times of peace, but in times of peace, he would have made it chaos because that is, that oh. is that's his, his um, MO. That's his MO. And when Allison said, have you not healed yet from the injustices of your childhood after she got fired, right? From the small <laughs> Exactly, he fired her, right. <laughs> it's like, oh man, you still hurt? You still hurt? Get over it. But pretty, pretty interesting uh, dive into, like I said, the motivation of the characters. It was like, yeah, mom, yeah, mom <laughs> the, crown, the crown thanks you for your service, but no, you out. Go sit by our <laughs> your, your older right. son. Domestic pursuits. You're good. We're done. I have no use for you here. Anyway. Hey, they gave you the pin back in the day, like when you worked at like in McDonald Douglas for like 30 years with the little pin. Like, thank you for your service at McDonald Douglas. <laughs> Sent you out <laughs> with the watch. My bad. It's the watch. It was the watch. <laughs> pension, but you had a pension. You old yep. So hey, you can just retire and live live the good life from here on out. Man. So okay. the, so it was. Amen. I mean, with with Amen, he is he is showing as uh, Bethany said, he is a wartime consigliere, not a peacetime because he doesn't know how to balance it. Because he's like them cats, but the people don't have food. Okay, what is yeah. that? What's that got to do anything? We got a water fight. They'll figure it out and be like, but you just told them to lock the uh like the gates. They can't even go out to go, you know, yeah. trade or figure out another way to get food. Yeah, they're locked in here. Oh, okay, that's cool. But I mean, but it's their fault. If we didn't have them ships in the blockade, let's go ahead and uh, get that squared away, and we'll figure it out. They'll have food. Yeah, no, I mean, and 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 you and you thought maybe Loris was gonna make some 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 inroads with them until Loris brought up that hand of the king, and that pissed him all the way off. <laughs> that pissed him all the way off immediately. He was pissed off by that one. And maybe we just start calling him Cameron. Cause like he make them camera moves like for pay. Cause no, he, I'm more. I'm thinking about it. He like did like. Oh, so you want to run this now, B? Oh, yeah. so you want to run this? Yeah. <laughs> you want like he, he might have gave it to you. He don't want you to ask for nothing. He want to tell you what he gonna do. <laughs> he set him up like, oh, I'm gonna put you in charge of it. And dude's like, oh, I'm I'm humble. I'm like, no, 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 idiot. Like you're like, you're not gonna no. get a hand. No, go get go no. get the hand. <laughs> I'm a toad. Yeah. I mean, all the very creative. Calling that we've seen over the course of uh, uh, Game of Thrones, how the dragon, when he just broke it all the way down. No, not you, code. Yeah. You know, at my my grandfather's loyalty to this house has never been questioned because let's not forget, Laris set up the murder of his daddy and his brother. Yeah. And Aga, I mean, uh, Eamon knows that. And Eamon knows that. That's right. Yeah. So go, go, go fetch my granddad. I'm going to put you in charge of that. I would never consider you. Yeah. Which was which is probably a good call. Yeah, no, 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 it's a great call. <laughs> it's a great call. See, and he fires Allison, and now Allison is now at the point where she realized all this was for nothing, and, and she's got to just ride and, with the lie now. And she, this was this was due to her misinterpretation of Viserys's. Is doctor. it no? Isn't it a lie, right? It's really a lie. Like she basically, yes. The when we couple episodes, she was basically like, yes. uh, I didn't even. She didn't even know what it meant. Remember when she was talking to Rhaenyra? She was like, yeah. she didn't know what the uh, the uh, what was it? The oh. Song of Ice and Fire. The Song of Ice and Fire and the the song, the prince that is promised meant. She just thought it was the prince's promise was supposed to be him, and she was like, oh, he explained that to you. She's like, yes, yeah, Aegon. She's like, oh, our son. You don't know nothing. Not 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 thinking that there's a bunch of people named Aegon out here, but also too um, the the uh, <laughs> seeing her go through all of the emotions physically 
uh, on her face and realizing that she had cast out and that none of her machinations have mattered solely and primarily because she's a woman and because she played wrong. Not, okay, so let me take that back, walk it back just a bit. Not just because a woman, but because she played it wrong, right? She misinterpreted, she didn't understand what she was, uh, she heard what she wanted to hear, which is what we talked about last season. And she thought that all of her uh, favors, sexual, or uh, mildly sexual uh, to on the uh, council or close to the council would gain her some kind of favor or or uh, respect. It was all for nothing. And so she, I call her the queen of the pick me's. She's the queen of the pick And it has come back to bite her in the ass. And now for what? Now she's just sitting at her, 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 her firstborn son's bedside, so much so that she didn't sent her third son away, right, to be um, a, a, a ward of the, um, was it the High Tower? Old Town. Old Town. Old Town. Old Town. Ward in Old Town. She has to ask her brother awkwardly about her youngest son. She's like, yeah, so how is he? And he's like, well, he doesn't write anymore. He's like, yeah, so much these days. He's like, well, he's fluent in the lute. He's got a drag. He's 16 years old. The girls love him. And he said it without saying. He turned out to be pretty all right because you didn't. Without know. you, <laughs> sons right. here are a mess. Okay, <laughs> you've made a mess of all of this. I was I was going to add. Um, <clears throat> it's a. Uh, it's. I see what you're saying about it was because she's a woman, but I also blame uh, Viserys for having. He already had named Rhaenyra his heir. And then to have a male son, which already was going to be contentious amongst people, you know, once not once he has an actual male heir, to then name that kid Aegon of all of the things. Like, it, like I get it, I get it. He didn't know he was going to have um, a, bad, a succession plan. He he set up a bad succession plan. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because because there was so there's so much room for confusion, knowing that most lords would want the male heir uh, to be the successor. And so just, just he created unnecessary confusion. And then to not have put, put, put things in place to be more definitive about it when he realized what uh, divisiveness uh, that was happening between the families because of that, the, the succession line, it, it just, he just, he, he, he underestimated how bad people wanted to be king. And, um, and he kind of- But he should have known that this situation before were Renice. Like yeah. he literally was in the same exact situation. He could have cut it all out by just have beef, right? They were they were they were friendly, cordial family. Rainice didn't raise no hell when uh Viserys was chosen as the successor. She went on ahead, she she her and Corliss went on ahead went on ahead and had children. Um they ruled in Driftmark. Uh became famous and 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 renowned in his own right. She was still a tar half Targaryen and a Dragon Rider, so she, she she didn't fade into the back, just didn't make a fuck. So I think Viserys underestimated, like Scott said, um, his children and grandchildren, uh, and, and his wife, and, and his wife Allison. He mis under he misrepresented how badly they wanted to cling to power. And he more didn't. importantly, Otto. Oh God! And, and he fired Otto. He fired Otto once, and then brought him back. Um, so it's it, he knew, but he wanted his family to get along. And that, but but that was uh, again. That's what I blame him for because it's one thing. Otto was always the person who wanted you know a higher station in life. Once you marry Otto's da daughter, and then start having kids, your grand your your children are his grandkids. Then now he has a legitimate claim for his family to to be on the throne yes they're targaryen but also they're high, they're, they're to high towers and to be so blind to see somebody uh as 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 politically savvy as otto and not to kind of foreshadow that he's going particularly when you're he's probably going to live out, outlive you to not see that that's going to be contentious because one one of your heirs the male heir puts his bloodline on the throne the other completely you know castigates it off you know to the side you know that's crazy. Like, of course he's going. Of course he's going to shoot for Aegon to be, uh, to be the heir. 
He's not he, gonna he underestimated Otto's ambition. He met, he underestimated Otto's ambition. Yeah. Yep. For sure. So, so I mean, so I mean, so really, yeah, you know, Viserys could have made it more streamlined. And 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 another thing I was thinking about is that was v Allison to say that he said Aegon because there is an Aegon. Which call had an Aegon as well. Rhaenyra had an Aegon as well. So who's to say that he wasn't? You could have been like, well, no, they wanted my grand, my son, to name Aegon to be yeah. king. You, it, I'm just saying it was too much. It's too many Aegons popping around in general, and we gotta, you know, and that's a problem in in itself on the, on that side. As we uh continue on with it, we get start to see maybe all the dragon riders. Um, I want to start first with um. With Yulf and uh, Hugh. actually, let's start with Adam of Hull. Um, with getting uh, and then the first the first person that tries to get uh, uh, I can't remember his name now. Where is it? At my notes? Dark Lord, uh, Lord Darkland. Not, they tried. To yeah, uh, a sea smoke, sea smoke. Yeah. Uh -huh. The first attempt at sea smoke. See? And I knew when he was sea smoke was running at one two auto. He's like, yeah, go and get on me. Yeah, a uh, sea smoke said, oh, You said Lord Darklin? Oh, I thought you said dark skin. No, not, not the one. I don't know. And, and I wish I could get the same thing blogger so I could give credit to that to that blogger on social media. But I screamed, okay. And sea smoke was, was like, Yeah, uh, no, not him. And so, remember back a couple episodes ago when Rhaenyra and Miss looking out over Driftmark, I'm sorry, over Dragonstone, over the ramparts, and Sea Smoke is just kind of flying and diving in, in the uh, over the sea. And she uh, she's like, is he always like this? And Rhaenyra said, hey, my late Lord husband's dragon has been restless of late. And Missaria says, maybe he's lonely. Mm -hmm. um, and the <clears throat> fact that, this was my favorite part of the episode, the fact that Sea Smoke may have been actually looking for his next rider, this whole time on his own accord. Yes, yeah. on his own accord because it and, and it, uh be indicative of the fact that maybe that bond was broken because as of last season, Lenor was still alive, right? And a dragon won't take two riders. So right. the fact that Sea Smoke went and found uh Adam of Hall, like, hey, you want to be my bestie? You know, can you <laughs> off your, your car's extended warranty sort of mm -hmm. stuff? Um, it kind of maybe lends itself to the fact that maybe off screen, off script, Lenor is dead, right? So now Sea Smoke is looking for his next writer who reminds him or close in bond or blood to so. Yeah. Um, and also the blood too, though, that uh Valerian blood too, that's directly tied to, to Corliss as well. Maybe that, that has something to do with it as well, I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, uh, when that dude walked over there, he thought that he was going to get sea smoke. And he's like, "I did it, y'all." Well, the 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 part that was wild to me that was diabolical work was the uh, the dragon tamer when they got he got because both of them got lit on fire and the dragon tamer slit his own throat. I was like, "Man, that's savage!" Like because he knew it was over. Yeah. He knew it was over. Yeah, that's a bad like, off. Then I can do. So that's part and of it's something. Is why it, it's something interesting with these dragon riders, and it, I don't know how they're gonna play this because the the because with the sheep stealer storyline, it seems like they're not gonna have uh nettles, they seem like they're giving that storyline um to not Bela, what is her name? Is it um Raina? Raina, yeah, Raina to Raina, but the idea I think that's a misstep them doing that. Because the idea, the, the idea was all these four dragon riders were common folk. This, this name in this episode was small folk. Mm -hmm. It was all of them didn't have any straight, direct blood in them. Them changing that to her takes the whole aspect out that any regular person can maybe get a dragon. It's almost like the to teach a dragon, like the 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 cartoon, like anyone can get a dragon. Uh, yeah, we taking it away. We make her a dragon rider. To me, yeah, man, that's a good point. Um, I don't want I don't want to take away Bethany's take. Bethany had an interesting take on that, so I'm gonna go ahead, Bethany. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, well, I'll let Scott finish and then I'll hop in. Yeah, what you think? Scott? No, no, no. I want you to get yours out first because I, I don't want to say what you told told me earlier. And uh, you know, okay, so I feel like we have so far in season two we've been three dragon, um, all 
Hugh Hammer, and Adam of Hull. We haven't yet been introduced to right? And I feel like because we know this is a condensed uh, spinoff, that because we haven't yet been introduced to Nettles at all, not even, a, I don't think, a glimpse in either of the, any of the six episodes, that they're just going to make a, a, a quick fix, right? And replace her with Raina. Because Raina coming up on in, in the veil while she's walking with Joffrey, um, and she sees the scorched earth and, and evidence of a wild dragon and Lady Harry, mm -hmm. um, she's like, yeah, we've had a wild dragon. It, you know, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, but can't nobody tame it. I feel like they're going to try to save time. And I, and I felt so bad because I remember several uh, podcasts ago, you were so excited for the introduction of Nettles and so was I. But, you know, they're like, okay, Nettles is brown, Rain is brown. <laughs> Time is just to condense it all together and make Raina the 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 claimer or writer of a uh, sheep stealer. So maybe, but that but, but the thing is though is that the idea that all four people were regular common folk is the idea of these people being you're, dragon seeds. You're yeah. right. It's, you're a thousand percent correct. So I find it, but but also I know they got to get through the, the material, right? Yeah. So we what we want is never what we get. And so this might be a, just a, um, a cheat, a cheat code, right? So it's really and so someone, someone broke down to me, uh, one of my buddies from college. He was like, man, you got to look at the dragons are like cats. Like they 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 choose you. Like they kind of like, and they choose when they want to be around you. They kind of, you know, they, they when they want to be up in your lap, they be up in your lap, they dip out. You can call them, they'll come by, but then they want to go kind of do their own thing. And they're going to be kind of slyly running around like that. You can't, they're not like dogs that's going to be up under you. They up under you, but they doing their own thing at the same time. Like, and I was like, that's an interesting analogy for yeah. dragon. They call it the cat distribution system, right? That the universe just randomly assigns cats to people. The cats just baby kittens just pop up and people take them on. And so now I heard, I heard, same thing that you're just referring to. They're calling it the dragon distribution uh, system, right? <laughs> so the one of the, the interesting takes though is if they don't introduce nettles, then there's some things with Damon's storyline that can't happen. Well, what are they going to have to do? Right. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a lot of modifications they're going to have to do with Damon's storyline in a couple of different aspects. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, yeah. Then how they introduce uh, Raina into those situations, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, to, 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 to leave the, to leave the, well, she's in the veil now, right? She's yeah. The, yeah it's but a, she's supposed to be getting ready to go to Pentos. She's supposed to. Yeah. Right. Right. But, but that's the whole point though, right? Like that can't happen. <laughs> They don't, yeah. If they replace her with nettles, that can't happen at all, you know. So that's a, it's, it's kind of interesting to see what they're, what they're going to do. And again, it's, I mean, unless unless they plan on you know dragging it on, and, and you know, what we'll get in episode seven or eight would be the introduction of some of these characters, uh, you know, kind of late in the season, um, without fleshing them out this season you know, as much. Which I mean, you know, I, I can see that happening. It, it's it, it, it's it's interesting. And in, in what's interesting even more is that this episode to me, and us knowing some of the things that's foreshadowing, seeing the other two dragon riders, to me, you see how they end up, how they are by how they're acting now more than you did in the books to me. Agree. Like you can see, I can see how they can be on what they be on, if that makes sense. And, yeah. I agree. And oh, I'm so glad you brought that up because just the subtleties, right? Uh, um, we know Masaria sent her network of spies out to uh, King's Landing, right? Um, and mm -hmm. so the 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 whorehouse bomb was in that tavern talking all that shit about yeah, you know, Amon and Egan have been having you know parties with with all the the late night. They've been eating lamb, and all. she she was one of her spies. She was sent there to sow those seeds of discontent and. The oath, right? Eating a bowl of fish, being really disgusting. I'm like, yeah. you know, Viserys used to have those those parties too, but not small folk, right? And then the fact when uh, Hugh Hammer, um, when 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 um, 
uh, Rainier and Masaria sent those those boats of food under the the, the black uh, sigil, which was a brilliant strategy. He's like, yeah, that was super uh, tactical, strategic. Um, they're starving, right? And the fact that she didn't bring war, but she sent food for the small folk. And the fact that Hugh Hammer literally punched somebody out on the street to grab <laughs> right, the bag of business to take back. Yes, he's got a sick daughter, but the fact that he did, you know, that's how he chose to procure those goods. We know lends itself later on in the story. Yeah. Yep. And and before it to me, you 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 can uh, to me, I, I think they're trying to play it up more of you knowing that they're more nefarious. I think they're trying to give it up like, okay, what you got them on your team now, but what does that mean for your team when those people you can't really trust? I think that's the way that they're playing instead of the the big thing that happens. I think they're not gonna have you surprised. You're more like is well, they did it. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, you know, then also we have uh, well, we talk about Adam being chose. Um, we get a little bit of Alan, uh, which is interesting. He shaves his head from not anyone seeing that he has his hair is white, which is interesting to me. You know, because yeah. Adam doesn't have his hair shaved, mm -hmm. and he's yeah. got long dreads, you no know, black dreads, but yeah. you know. But Adam shaves his. He don't want to look nothing like uh, Corlett. Corlett. Yeah. And if you pick up, because it was really quick. I only saw that on my second viewing that he was doing the razor shave. And when they did a close up, uh, it was white. And so he that's the reason he's bald, because the, yeah. the in this iteration, right? Um, uh, black, dark skin, brown skin with white hair. Right, uh, all of them. They later. automatically know it's Corliss's kid. Like, no right. Like to see that. And so that telltale give <laughs> But, but even still, ooh, think about it. Even still, even bald, Rainice clocked him the minute she saw him. The minute mm -hmm. she saw him, she knew that that was Corliss's son. She's like, your mother must have been very beautiful. Nobody told me that my husband's savior was so comely. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, now in the books, wasn't wasn't they they the rumor was that they were Lenore's kids? Yes, All right. But that was that was a, that was a, that was the the switch around just for he All wouldn't right. get caught up. <laughs> now, also, now also that, that boy that boy ain't near about that boy's supposed to be like fifteen years old. And right. <laughs> yeah, you know, like nothing, you know, like, nothing like that. Had the, had had um 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 other interests, right? Everybody knew that Lenore had other interests. So they never believed it. They just figured, oh, okay, it's, it's just a cover up. Those are Corliss's kids. But I'm wondering is he gonna start rocking the long hair at some point? Like is he gonna start letting his hair grow and then he's gonna have on your wig in a minute, uh uh Scott. <laughs> like, like by the end of I I'm, gonna find, I'm gonna find that wig for the season finale and rock it and re rock it. But I'm just saying, is he gonna rock it? Where you be like, oh snap, he's 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 embracing his Valerian. I, mean, I think so. I mean, by the I mean, by the time they established that, you know, he's now one of the dragon ride, riders, and then you know, and then once his then his wife is dead, right? You know, Ray niece is gone, so the 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 impetus to hold the hold out doesn't really that that that, that doesn't really matter anymore, and you know, they're gonna have to bring him into the fold and vouching for his trustworthiness. You know, it's going to be something that's probably going to be up to Corliss as, as far as the, you know, as the hand, you know, to kind of smooth over that situation because they're not the people that um, Jace and Rainier and uh, Rhaenyra chose, you know, as potential. Uh, what do they call dragon seeds, dragon flames? Dragon seeds. Yeah. Dragon seeds. Yeah. Dragon seeds. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. I, I love. I loved the um, um, preview for the next episode where. We're is actually shouting. You stand with a with a dragon of House Targaryen. What do you want? And Sea Smoke is in the back, like I found my boy. Like, can I keep <laughs> mom, please? And so we 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 know that there's there's way more fun, interesting, tragic things to come. But um, I feel like Rhaenyra is finally finding a little bit of her um. The fact that she slapped that Lord in the hallway in full view of other people, she's like, I think it's my fault. I fear that you forgot to fear me. 
So the fact that she slapped the shit out of him in public, I love it. Finally, it like she got a swagger back. She got a swagger back. Yeah. Yes, I loved it. I loved it. I, I needed her. I, I, I remember I said last week I was like, I frustrated with her because she seems so attentive. She's so cautious. They keep taking it. They keep taking the hits. You know those uppercuts. They keep taking losses, and she is agonizing over whether or not it's the right thing to do. Go kill somebody, please. <laughs> husband is still over here tripping, but please go kill somebody, or at the very least, slap the body on the screen. I loved it. Perfect. <laughs> so then, uh, uh, those women royals was just so violent, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So then we get Rhaenyra and Missaria. This is something changed up, as far as I remember, from the books of this now relationship that they now have. Um, she gets her to do a smart thing with sending the food and goods to through uh, Blackwater with the boats and the food with their flag on, like, oh, she's feeding us and starting a riot in the city. But then she basically, Missaria is setting her up like, I'm the only one you can trust, baby. It's me. You know, I'm the only one. Damon's gone. Your son barely messed with you. I'm the only one that's got your back. <laughs> she said she, said she now, could be a dragon rider, too. <laughs> look, I wouldn't even look. <laughs> I've made it with both Targaryens. So, therefore, maybe she has enough. <laughs> They heard of him to go get a track. She, she ran a brothel. It would be the first time she says it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what do y'all think about that change from the book? <laughs> Where they're now having this relationship between Rhaenyra and Masaria. I'm sorry. I have thoughts. But do you want to go first? I mean, it's, either, it, it, it's yeah. It's, here's the thing. I'm not here for love stories. You know, I'm not here for romance and love stories. You know what I'm saying? Like we got other we got other topics we can cover, you know what I'm saying? So all right, all right. It, this was a long an hour long hour, right? A lot mm -hmm. of covered. And it seems as if that came from nowhere, right? However, upon second review. Um, because the first time I watched it, I had I had a whole lot of thoughts about it. I was like, really? This just told you about her father sexually assaulting her um, at a young age, impregnating her at a young age, uh, forcibly getting rid of her baby, so much so that you bear children. Your first impulse was to hug her, but then to kiss her, I felt like it was an inappropriate time, right? But... Upon second view, I remembered that it was implied in the book more than a couple of times that Damon and Rhaenyra collectively as a couple brought Missaria into their bedroom. Oh. So I, I had to get over my aggravation that it, it seemingly was like a sneak, you know, oh, just a random plot line. And I was like, well, no, because in the in in the books, Damon wasn't on the side, but in the books, yeah. at Rhaenyra's side, you know, fighting for the same thing she was fighting for. Maybe he secretly did what crown, but also too, he wasn't just absent, right? And when Maser when they brought Masaria on as their their um um uh, whatever, paramour, paramour, Lord of Wisdom, <laughs> slash, yeah, you know, it was like more than a handful of occasions that. She Join them. So, was it necessary? Yeah. Did it seem like it came? Out? I feel like it was a great plot twist. Um, it was a great reminder. Hey, we're watching a movie. Pay attention, right? We're watching a series. Focus. Um, and then the, uh, when when the uh, the the Queen's guard burst into the room, like, hey, and they kind of broke away all awkwardly. And he's like, you know, there's there's reports of sea smoke uh, circling. Uh, outside of Spice Town, and Rainier is like he does that. Like it was a very Rainier thing to say. Like he does. That. Also, too, did you just see what we broke away from? <laughs> Which I know. <laughs> hey, what y'all know? What, hey, did you? What you? What do you remember? <laughs> right. I remember nothing. I saw nothing. Right. So it was, you know, 
it, it, it that was the part that made me outside of sea smoke face down at the hall made me sit up like what are you kidding what okay but on second launch you know i i had a, a frame of reference so i wasn't nearly as aggravated about it because it got me i was like oh, it got what, are you, what are we doing this for it yeah got i know i know yeah I know. Mm -hmm. it's just too much can we get to killing it was a lot <laughs> <laughs> kill it. I'm here for the violence here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, well, like we you got know. too many side quests going on. I'm I wanna can I get off the side quests uh the missions on you know you trapped on Grand Theft Auto and you can't get back to the main <laughs> mission. I just can I just like restart and get back to like the main missions? I don't want to do these side quests no more. <laughs> Everybody's screwing they, 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 they all screwing the same people. Like it's not like it's not, it's not even new relationships, they just they just run it, they just pa pass each other around. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm just like, I was like, ah. yeah, I get it narratively. Like, oh yeah, they would mess around and she would be sitting there with, but now it's like changing like in my mind, like how is she maneuvering now if they're now in a relationship? Cause they ain't going to come back and be like, you know, I'm in on this too. Right. You know? Okay. <laughs> no. that was, it was mine at first. I hit it first. All Ray J. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, and you know we in this together. He gonna come in, be like, no, no, that's cool. Y'all do y'all y'all do. I'm let me get comfortable. <laughs> let me get my let me get my boots off <laughs> and <Yeah>. get in here. <laughs> Unless they introduce nettles, then that's gonna really change it. It's gonna get messy. Oh lord! And I think that may be why they don't introduce nettles, right? They've already they've already kind of uh, muddied up the waters. It's as clear as mud right now. So hey, look, we're gonna introduce the. Rhaenyra, Missaria, and we're not going to bring up the Nettles line because when Damon comes back, that'll make it way too hard, right? So Yeah, but my whole thing is, but with that plot line, the Nettles plot line, a lot of that came from the fact that that he thought, she thought that he was messing with her. So like, what a, what now what do we make this where it becomes a contentious thing between those two characters? What are we going to use to make that contentious where she doesn't like her anymore? Uh, good question. Good point. She was big mad in the book. She was big mad about it. She she called yeah. her. She yeah. called her death. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, and then her and you know Damon had they that last button of heads because he was he let her know like, hey, roll out. Get on, get on, get on, get on and roll out. Now, 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 we we've introduced a pretty big spoiler if they do introduce Nettle as a cat. <laughs> <Man. laughs> That's not going to happen now, obviously. <laughs> yep. All right, so so Scott, you still with your four season prediction here? Yeah, I just you know, I think that because you know, they they dragged out uh, you know Game of Thrones and they uh, they got that very poor uh, you know reception for the final season. So I think instead of trying to you know uh, drag it out, what they're going to do is they're going to give us a a tight you know a, a more action packed and more fast paced final two seasons now they may stretch four out to past eight episodes i can see it maybe going maybe you know maybe 10 uh 10 10 episodes maybe maybe for lucky 12 but i don't think we're gonna get a five whole seasons i can't i mean 24 more episodes that's a that's a lot that's a lot to commit to considering that the uh production time is so long you know we're talking about two years in between you know, you start, you know, characters start dying, they start getting pregnant, they start getting fat, you know, so they start looking vastly different. You know, some of the, the younger actors start, you know, aging, you know, uh, to more adults. It's just, I just can't see that they're, it'll take another six years to finish this series at the two year production time till we're getting. Yeah, good point. Good point. What about you, Beth? You still, you're, you're locked in the four seasons as well, still. I'm locked in the three seasons, actually. Really? You think they can wrap this up next season? Yeah, I'm locked in the three season. And um, so there's, if, if they would make it 10 episodes, we could definitely get it. But uh, committing to only eight episodes this season means either to me that there, if it's going to be four seasons, the next season will be eight episodes. But if it's going to be three seasons, the next season will be 12 episodes, right? And they, okay. can, they can wrap it up in 12 because I think out of the two episodes left this season, I was expecting three more deaths. Now I'm expecting only one, potentially two, one in a possible, right? <laughs> one. Um, but it, it they 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 played with the timeline and 
the ages and the the, the uh, information from the books just enough to make me skeptical of any projection I could make. So who knows? Yeah, yeah the Nettles thing. That that's a. The, I'm I'm totally off now with that whole there with the way they're doing that. I'm like, okay, well that's like a. 15 10 15 percent of the beef at the end is right there yeah. <laughs> that's gone now <laughs> so i don't know what's going on now all we know is that everybody dies right because by the time yeah. we know that yes everybody's dead so that's the only certainty we have is that everybody dies at some point whether they survive the dance of the dragons um or they they die during the dance of the dragons we know everybody dies yeah. yeah, I find it interesting that the last thing I'll say about Nettle, I find it interesting that I, I potentially believe because they race swapped so many characters, they actually just wrote out the only black character that was actually in the book. That was actually oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they thought they had way they they had they had their 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 fill. And and also the fact that Sea Smoke uh just totally burnt to a crisp uh the, the one white rider tried to ride him and went to go find the other black guy that I was like, yeah, that's it. Also, oh, real quick, um, the, the dragon keeper that, that cut his own throat uh, mm -hmm. when Smoke killed uh, Darkland, um, that's the reason why the dragon uh, keepers carry dragon glass with them, so as not to prolong their death should, should an accident like that happen. If mm -hmm. someone's trying to train a dragon, tame a dragon, get a new rider for a dragon, uh, hold a dragon for the rider to get on. If the dragon decides to wild fuck out, they can just go ahead and kill it, end it, end it for themselves. Mm -hmm. Because dragon fire is painful. It's not a it's not a quick death. It's a slow burn death. That's why I carry dragon fire. Yeah, which I mean, and just to a lesser de degree, that's why I am always listening to somebody who's willing to self-immolate. Like whatever, whatever you're protesting, you want to self-immolate, I'm here to listen. You know what I'm saying? I may not agree, but if you got something that's so important to you, you're gonna set yourself on fire, I'm hearing you out. You know what I'm saying? Like I got time. I'm listening, you following all the directions. We gotta listen to you at the minimum. Exactly, exactly. What what was your cause? What was your position? Because that is not a fun way to go. <laughs> well, you All right, we will wrap that. it up yes. and we will back next week. Peace.